Hi, and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. My name is Lisa Curcio. One of the best things about a card sketch or a card layout is it's going to give you all the inspiration you need. All you do is simply substitute the graphics for the stamp set and the greeting that you choose. And I'm going to help you do just that with today's card sketch or card layout. This is the card we're going to be creating together today, but I've got several other samples to share with you using that exact same layout for this card. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, I would love to encourage you to subscribe. Next to that subscribe button, you'll find a small bell icon. If you click on that, you'll receive notifications of when I'm live here on YouTube, as well as when I upload a new video. Let's head over to the stamp table and let's get started on today's card. Here's a good close up of the card we're going to be creating together today. And like I said, I've got several other cards to share with you using this exact same layout. Let's work on the image portion of this card first. I'm going to be using thick Whisper White cardstock specifically because I'm going to be coloring with alcohol-based markers called Stampin' Blends. I'm using the stamp set called Wonderful Moments, and it's a very large stamp set. So there are several sheets of images here, and it is in photopolymer. There's a great array of greetings in this stamp set as well. I've mounted the bride image here, and I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. But because it's rather large, I prefer to turn it face up on my work surface and ink it this way so that I don't miss a spot. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper here. This is the small grid sheets. I absolutely love these when I'm working in a tight area. And then I'm going to stamp this image off to the left-hand side. Now before I get too far, I want to do the next step so I can let this dry. I'm going to be using the one and one half inch circle punch to punch out a circle. I'm going to be using the Wink of Stella brush. I'm going to be placing the Wink of Stella right over the cardstock. It's going to give it a beautiful shimmer background, but I want to let the alcohol base in this dry before I go ahead and do some stamping on it. And now I'm going to come in here to this image. I'm going to use the alcohol base markers, like I said, but I'm not going to be doing any blending whatsoever. There's an amazing ivory and a bronze tone that can be used for flesh. I'm going to be using the ivory today, but I'm going to use the bronze for her hair. Double-sided tips on the Stampin' Blends markers represented here by the line. So I'm going to use the smaller ends so I can fill in those areas a lot easier. I'm going to be using the Calypso Coral Blends combination. So that's the light and the dark. I'm just going to be dotting on some color. There's going to be no shading here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a small strip of basic black cardstock. Because that cardstock is so small, I like to bring in my silicone craft sheet. This is going to ensure that I don't leave adhesive on my work surface. Fighting that sticky spot when you're crafting is never fun. Adhesive, liquid glue, and hot glue will not stick to this, which makes it a perfect accompaniment here in my studio. This is going to get adhered to the bottom. I'm careful to make sure that I come up to this line and we'll press that in place. This panel now is going to get mounted on a larger piece of Whisper White cardstock as the card base. I scored it just before you joined me and I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half and I like to use my bone folder for that nice crisp edge. This layer is going to be mounted up on dimensionals. I'm going to add my dimensionals to the corners and since it's an entire layer I'm going to be a bit more generous with these than I normally am because I want to make sure that it's well elevated all the way around especially since I'm cognizant that this is going to go through the mail. This now will get centered here on the card base. Remember the circle that we added the Wink of Stella. What we're going to do now is we're going to stamp the greeting. I'm going back to my Memento ink and from that exact same stamp set, I've pulled out the words for the bride. And those are going to get stamped right here in the center. That same Wink of Stella now, I want to add to her dress to give this a little bit of shimmer. And that's going to bring continuity between these pieces and give this very simple card an elegant touch. You simply brush the Wink of Stella on. It couldn't be any easier. I'm going to add the greeting now, so I'll flip that over. And I'm going to grab two dimensionals for the back side. And I'll balance those as well. That's going to get adhered here to the right-hand side of that strip. I wanted to add some embellishments to this, and I'm going to be using some pearls. And you can see quite a few of these are gone. I'm a big fan of this accessory. I'm going to be using the paper piercing tool attachment to help me pick these up. They already have glue dots on the back, which make them really easy to use. These at the top are smaller, so I'm going to use these to cover up the buttons that are on her dress. And then I'm going to use one more just to bring a little bit of an accessory here next to the greeting for some balance. So gorgeous, simple card, but I have several others with this exact same layout for you. 
The next card actually has the image up on the panel here across the center. And you can see that I've done the same thing here with the greeting. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of an accessory or a stamp here underneath that ledge. Last but not least, keeping with this exact same card layout, I created this card. Isn't this little pig adorable? So instead of that strip, I actually fringed this to resemble grass. I stamped him here, colored him in with the alcohol stamp and blends markers. And again, a very simple greeting. Card layouts and sketches are a wonderful way for you to get started on your card making designs. Copy the layout and substitute the images with what you have at home. In addition, don't be afraid to be creative. If you want the image up, mount it up. If you want to change that strip out to be something like ribbon or a bit more decorative, you certainly can do that. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're interested in Stampin' Up! supplies, I would be more than happy to send you a complimentary copy of the current catalog. Head over to lisastampstudio.com and contact me there. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.